Hi folks, today we are heading up to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. We're going to check out the lighthouse, see what the harbor looks like there. And we're also going to head over to some of the other lighthouses near Lake Winnebago. Then that's going to be in some subsequent videos. So uh, come along and we'll check out Manitowoc and uh, find out a little bit about its history. Manitowoc, Wisconsin, and the area around the city is home to about 50,000. The name Manitowoc comes from an Ojibwe word meaning spirit woods or spirit lands, referring to the place of natural beauty where the Manitowoc River flows into Lake Michigan. The first Europeans in this area were French fur traders who arrived in 1673. It wasn't until 1795 that a fur trading post was established. As the little town grew up, the need for harbor improvements and a lighthouse grew as well. Manitowoc was founded in 1836 and its first lighthouse entered service three years later. Over the years, new breakwaters were built and lights were located and relocated as needed. The breakwater lighthouse we see today was built in 1918 and finally automated in 1971. Its fifth order Fresnel lens is in the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. More on that later. The lighthouse was sold in 2009 and its new owner spent $300,000 to thoroughly restore it for its 100th birthday in 2018. Located on the west side of Lake Michigan, the car ferry, the 410-foot SS Badger, is one of the last coal-fired steamships on the Great Lakes. The service runs from May to October and connects Manitowoc, Wisconsin and Ludington, Michigan a nautical distance of about 60 miles. The trip takes about four hours. Traveling around Lake Michigan between the two cities is 410 miles and would take about six and a half hours. Another of Manitowoc's claims to fame is that it's the 1962 crash site of a 20 pound piece of the Russian Sputnik 4 satellite. Manitowoc is also home to the Wisconsin Maritime Museum, which is worthy of its own video. The submarine that sits outside the Maritime Museum is the World War II era USS Cobia combat submarine, one of 28 built in Manitowoc for the U.S. Navy. Today Manitowoc is still a working city. The shipbuilding industry is still strong, and food service related industries are an important part of the economy. The city's population is growing and its downtown and harbor areas are vibrant with many shops and restaurants galleries and museums. There is something for everyone in Manitowoc.